Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. How are you all? How was your day? I hope you are enjoying your day. So today we are going to learn about one car racing game. This is a 3D car racing game. Okay. So for this game, what we are going to do. First, I will run this project. I will show you like what we are going to create today. <laughs> So we need to just use our arrow key, okay? So by using your left arrow, right arrow, even you can move the car. Okay? See? Like this. So now I will explain you if you want to create this game. For this, what we will require. So first, we will require our first sprite, which is car. As you can see, this is our car, okay? So, we will require car. After that, this is our road. It looks like a road. So, we want to add this sprite also. So, this is our second sprite. For this sprite, we have a first costume, second costume. Then, uh, we will require this board as you can see. So, instead of uh, here, we have uh, some obstacles. So, like this is our first obstacle, which is house. Then, we have a uh, trees. Then uh, this like your land. Then we have this light. We have this costume. Okay. So here we need to add some costume. Which is your obstacle. Then we have our fourth sprite like this. Means here we need to select our costume. Then we have our next sprite. Which is this. So here we have one car. And we have this sprite. So this is our sprite. And then we have our go button. Okay. So this is our sprite. Like uh, we have four sprite as our car. Then we have road. Then we have obstacle. We have two obstacle. Next sprite. And then we have a go. After that we need to add our backdrop. So total we have a two backdrop. This looks here. If you will add a road. It looks like your sky. And then we have one more like this. Okay. So now we will see the coding part one by one. So we will start with our sprite one. Okay, which is the car. So when flag is clicked, it means when I will run my project. So first we need to switch our costume. Like see in a car, we have a two costume, first and second. So which costume we want according to that, we have to switch that. You will get that inside the looks, okay? We will get that inside the looks. After that, we will see the next part. Okay. After that, we will see the next part, which is when flag is clicked. So, suppose if I will run this, we want to move our car continuously. So, in the forever, if that will touch to your age, like if your car will touch to any age, we need to switch the costume and we will play the sound and then we have to stop everything. So uh, where we will get this touch age, we need to just go to the sensing. We will, you have to take that, okay? If that will touch to age. Like instead of mouse pointer, we need to select age. So this is our second part. After that, we have a third part, which is when flag is clicked, if in the forever, if this will touch to your sprite 3, which is this, this red color. So again, we need to switch the costume and again, we will play the sound. Okay. After that, we have our next part, which is when flag is clicked. So in the forever. So now we have an arrow light. If we will touch to left arrow, like if left arrow key is pressed and up arrow key is pressed, then we will take a point in direction like this see like this okay so if simultaneously we will play, uh, touch left arrow and up arrow so what will happen you will move to the left direction like here in this part okay again we will move to the 10 step next we have a next part like a with flag is click in the forever if right arrow key is pressed and up arrow, so you will move to this direction like this. So 
so we will move to the test direction like if you will press right arrow and up arrow after that we have a next part when flag is clicked in the forever if fuel is equal to zero so we need to just go to the variable we will create our fuel like make a variable write down the name as a fuel so if fuel is zero so again we will switch the costume and we will play the sound after that when up arrow key is pressed we need to wait for two seconds and then we will change a fuel by minus one like this see we need to change a fuel here and when flag is clicked initially we have a fuel as a hundred and when we will click on up arrow the fuel will change by minus one means you will get a decreased one see after every two second your fuel will decrease see okay like this so this is our first part which is main player okay then we will see sprite 2 which is road we don't have much more here like when flag is clicked if we will press the up arrow so we want to switch a costume we need to wait for some second again we will switch the costume because we have a two costume here in the road okay so when up arrow key is pressed we need to just wait for a second and then we will just switch the costume like like see when i will run it is like uh, your car is running but no here we are just switching the road costume okay after that we have a third sprite which is light as you can see this light so for this light again if we will press the up arrow so we want point in direction which is your left one right one sorry right direction we need to just move 10 step and we will change the size like we want to change a size of the sprite after that we have one next part when flag is clicked in the forever if we will touch to the edge okay because in the scratch we have this edges okay if that will touch to your edge we need to just go to in some direction like we will just go to x in x position 18 in y position minus 42 and then we have to increase the size so here we have a 10 costume so it will pick randomly as you can see randomly you will get any costume it is not a fixed one okay after that for your sprite for same thing we need to do that when we will press the up arrow so now we want left here we have a right only we have a difference in your previous sprite we have to do for right which is this but here we will do for the left okay which is your minus 90 we need to move and we have to change a size again if that will touch to your age we want this particular position we need to increase the size and again we have to sit, select a random value okay after that we will do for our next one so what is this what is this sprite so this is your red color as you can see <laughs> So what we need to do here. So initially when flag is clicked. So initially we want this costume. Because here we have a 2. But initially we want this costume. Okay. We have to go to this particular position. Which is in X position we have 112. In Y we have minus 107. And then when flag is clicked. So what will happen if your flag is clicked. We need to just wait for a second in the forever. If we will press the up arrow, so we have to show this. And we will change y by minus 10. Because this is our y position. If you will see the, this coordinate system, this is y position and this one is our minus y. So we want to change this down position. It means your minus y. And then we will glide. Glide means we have to glide from here to here. 
here to here like that. Okay. And again, when we will press the up arrow, we want this position, which is 112 and minus 107. After that, what we have a next part. So here, if we will press the up arrow, so again, we need to just wait for some second. We have to glide. As you can see, this is gliding from one position to another. And then we will switch the costume. Okay. Then we have a last sprite, which is go. So it is very simple. As you can see, when flag is clicked, we need to show after one second, we have to hide that. After one second, you will not get that. Okay. So this is all over our sprite, how you will add a sprite and how you will add the coding part in that sprite. Now we will see for backdrop, which is your background. Like as you can see, continuously the background is <coughs> after some second you will get yellow one. After some time again, you will get blue and green like that. So how we will do that? So initially we want our first background which is green and blue and when flag is clicked when we will press the up arrow we need to wait for two seconds and we will take a next backdrop you have to again wait for a second and you will add a next backdrop suppose now i have one more backdrop which is for example this okay now see if i will run <laughs> two seconds you will get yellow and again after two seconds you will get this third one so like that how many background you want you can add suppose after that i want to add this dessert also let's see now what will happen after every two seconds you will get your different background now this then you will get a dessert like that, uh, we can add any number of backgrounds, okay? So, in this way, you can create your 3D car racing game. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel, which is Code for Kids. And press the bell icon if you want more latest updates. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye.